Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Gladiator Utility Cargo Net. This particular one is going to be 4x4 feet, so it's going to be perfect for a smaller truck bed like we have on the Maverick, a rooftop basket or a rooftop platform, or maybe even an ATV or the interior of your vehicle. Let's check it out. A lot of times when you're carrying cargo, if you've got a lot of varied items like we do here, a lot of different heights and different sizes, using cam buckle straps or ratchet straps can be a bit difficult to get an even hold over everything, and it can just be a lot of different straps that you have to mess with. A cargo net can be a really nice solution because it's sort of this one-stop shop to cover up everything and use the included cam buckle straps, it comes with four, to get a good strong hold over all the cargo and kind of just keep everything down tight. There is a little bit of movement in some of the stuff, but overall, if I shake the tote from this side, I'm shaking the whole truck back and forth and things are very secure. So for some of our taller, more awkward items, maybe some stacked totes like we have on this side, it can be a good way to keep things from tipping over and just keep it generally in the right place so we don't have to worry about it. Comparing this to some other cargo nets, I really like the one from Gladiator because the webbing all across is an inch and a half wide, really heavy duty, and it's got this mesh in between the webbing that really lets it get a good hold over everything inside. If you've got some smaller items, it's not gonna get through the webbing over here. It's gonna get a good strong blanket-like coverage over the top. All throughout the net, we've got these integrated metal grommets that are perfect to get our tie-down straps into. The ones included with the kit have these carabiners on one side that clip in, tighten down, and then the vinyl coated double J hooks that'll go to the tie down points on our vehicle or maybe our platform. The reason I like all the different options to choose from for tie down points on the net itself is that depending on the load you're carrying and depending on the size of net you get, you might need to use some different tie downs. So we've got ours on all the corners right now, but if we go to the outside of the net, there's ones on the corners there and then all throughout the middle sections of the net too. For some of the larger nets that we used earlier today, those middle spots were a lot better because if you get a net that's oversized for the cargo, you can kind of pull it tight around the sides and it helps keep everything in place. One of the things I was most impressed by on the Gladiator nets is the construction, and that translates really well over into the weight capacity. The capacity of the net itself, it's gonna have a safe working load limit of 1,500 pounds. And then for the cam buckle straps that come included, that's going to be 1,323 pounds. So more than enough, I think, for most cargo and more than enough that I'll ever have in my truck bed. One thing I would recommend adding since you do have all these tie down points is just some extra straps. Whether you get a set of these cam buckle ones directly from Gladiator, you can find those on our website, or you just add some things to the carrying case like bungee cords or some of the e-trailer ratchet straps. It's gonna help get things really secure because a lot of these side points have a great option to add another strap and just provide more security throughout the whole net. Getting things set up, it all comes in this carrying case, which is actually really nice. It's got a large reinforced handle and a large zippered pocket on the front that will hold the net. It's really easy to get in and out too, so it's pretty functional. It's not like it's a pain to get back into the bag once you get it out. And then it also includes all four of our cam buckle straps that come included with the kit. So it's great that you can keep everything all in one place but not to mention the fact that there's extra pockets. So if you did, did add some extra straps for extra security or maybe some bungee cords, you can put it in the front pocket, either one of the two back pockets or the zippered pocket on the back. And there's plenty of room left on the inside too. So if you just wanna keep it all internal, you can. Getting it all set up, I'm just gonna lay it loosely over the cargo. And once it's kind of in position where we roughly want it, I can go ahead and start tying it down. Since this is a four foot by four foot net, it's a little bit undersized for my truck bed, but that's actually okay because with the cargo we've got in place, it is going to be covering all the edges. And my main goal is to just hold everything down and keep it from shifting around or tipping over. Rather than going for the very corner grommet, I'm actually gonna go a little bit inward just because I've noticed with the four straps that are included, that results in a bit of a better hold with these nets because it lets us get more pressure down on the sides. Now for this smaller size, it may not make that much of a difference, but I do wanna start with that just to see how well it works. And I don't have all the straps super tight yet. With all of them loosely in place, I can make sure everything is still sitting how I kinda of want it. And then I can begin to tighten things down fully. After experimenting with the straps just a little bit, I ended up actually settling on going for the corners. 
I didn't go for the very outer corners. I actually went into the layer that has the netting as well as the webbing. And that's resulting in a pretty strong hold on all of our cargo. I think because of the size of the net and just the relative evenness of the load that ended up working better for our situation. If you have a net that's maybe a little more oversized for the cargo or for the bed, then I think maybe it would be better to go for the side ones here just to get a good wrap around the sides of all the cargo. But that's the really nice thing about this is that you've got so many of these grommets to choose from that you can really get it matched to the load and where you're carrying it. But seeing it secure in the garage is one thing. I'd like to take it out, drive it around for a bit, go over some speed bumps and some side to side to see if anything manages to find its way loose. And after driving around, it looks like nothing's really shifted around. If it has, it certainly hasn't moved too much. And I wouldn't say anything is any looser than it was before. None of our taller or stacked items tipped over. So I'd say I'm pretty impressed with it. But overall, I really like the nets. I think they're really well constructed and comparing them to other cargo nets that I've worked with, they're a lot sturdier. They don't have any sort of stretchy material. It just gets a firm hold on all the cargo and having all those different options to secure it and tie it down is really nice. For me, looking at this one in particular, I think it's a great fit on this truck. It's actually my truck and I'm probably gonna pick one of these up myself just because I think it can be really helpful whenever you're securing different loads. But that'll do it for our look at this Gladiator Utility Cargo Net. Thanks for watching.